people will and I had a look at an Australian company which is making the world's first solar ferries and the first customer well it's not somewhere you'd usually associate with going green it seems appropriate that Hong Kong's smoggy harbour will be the first to adopt these solar ferries so it's really it's like the Prius car except that uh, we can add renewable energy we were given a sneak preview of the prototype in Sydney Harbour, the result of more than a decade of research and development by Australian company Solar Sailor. Four ferries will begin service in Hong Kong in November. The following month, global leaders will meet in Copenhagen for the UN Climate Change Summit, aimed at reaching an agreement on emissions. Scientists want clear targets and a global approach to global warming. So I hope we also get a commitment to transparency for accounting for these for what's happening. I hope we get a large sum of money on the table for investment in the developing world, particularly for forest protection and a commitment to tech transfer. The United States could take a leading role. The Obama administration's key climate change negotiator has warned that any country that delays enacting emissions targets will miss out on a wave of investment. When it comes to the take up of green technology, comparative cost is key. Hong Kong signed up to buy the solar ferries when the price of oil was 140 bucks a barrel and when the cost of going green becomes cheaper than the alternative, that's when we're likely to see a real shift. Well, the diesel industry, the engines have hundreds of moving parts, but that industry's had 100 years to develop the technology and develop the economies of scale and we've, we're coming in and competing against that in a five or ten years with a system that is uh, has to be as good or better and at the same price or cheaper. Government subsidies can help green companies to compete, so can taxes on emissions. But without a global agreement on climate change, the climate may change faster than government policies. And Solar Sailor has also signed another contract with the US military for solar powered drones and they can be at sea for days and even months at a time without refuelling. So in that case, uh, the fact that they're solar actually makes them superior to the alternative because they don't need refuelling. And having a solar powered uh, patrols is certainly a lot cheaper than an entire military ship. And of course, the range that a military ship could cover as well isn't as much as maybe 100 Ooh. drones or, or the like out in the ocean. Patrolling the ocean, yep. Bernie. Very neat stuff. Practical I mean, applications. Uh, go... uh -huh. I'm looking forward for to technology. it. I'm looking forward to <laughs> these. I'm looking forward to Solar Sailor here on the way to uh, Sham Shui Po or the New Territories. Actually, there's uh, we need one going to Silver Strand Bay where I like to swim, so that'll be a lot, a lot of fun. That's...